I'm always excited, you know, especially being around a group like these guys. Uh, uh, we did start this summer. We were fortunate enough to have a good five weeks with them, dealing with all the protocols that uh, we have to deal with. And then uh, uh, starting in the fall here when they got back here for school, they've just handled things so maturely. Uh, they haven't been complaining. We're, de we're, t we're dealing with whatever we have to deal with, and we're um, taking a positive at attitude to it and, and getting a lot of work in. These guys have... They have been living in the gym, working their tail off, and uh, again, I just got to commend them because it's it's not an easy time. They, they they can't have a social life, you know, and none of us ever had to go through that. So these guys, you're asking them to. Um, we're fortunate we get to play a game, but you're asking them not to be a college student. You mentioned obviously all the different protocols. I know it seems like you almost spend more time talking about protocols and, and dealing with COVID than, than basketball. This will be my lone COVID question for you, but the help of, that you get from others around you and you mentioned hours in the gym are different which that puts more pressure on folks like Connor and Liz uh, to get their schedules a little bit more aligned. everybody kind of opening that schedule a little bit to get guys in how, how you really had that cooperative effort through everybody to you got gym rats but they just can't be in there by themselves there, there's other people that are, of course are helping them get it yeah and we've always been like that with a coach I mean if a guy is in here somebody's with him rebounding for him or a couple players are in here doing that so we've never had guys uh, just in here by themselves because we want to be there to help them at, at all times they can be in here 24 hours a day but we're going to have a coach with them but you talk about dealing with what we're dealing with with the virus and, and Kellen Norris and and Connor Bird and Liz who's who's helping us right now um, I was talking to Connor Connor's in there at 6 30 in the morning and I was talking to him last night at eight o'clock and he was just getting home so that's not easy, you know. I feel bad for those, and and Kellen Kellen's got a little one at, at home, and um, what they've had to go through to get us ready to be able to try to have a season, and on a daily basis have to deal with what they're dealing with. And you're dealing with a virus, and all of a sudden here comes cold and flu season. You have allergies out there, so it, it's it's awfully difficult. But all you can do is be positive. Let's get through it together, and 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 deal with what we have to deal with. When you've been able to get your guys together, and like today in practice, what jumped off to you uh, thus far in the time you've been able to get to them? And like, I like the way this is shaping up. Oh boy, they they look good today, you know, and maybe a little more pep in their step uh, than normal, just because it's their first day. But um, you know, you're you're mixing guy different guys together and and putting them in uh, in different uh, uh, situations. And you know, we're bringing seven new guys in with a really good. A crew of veterans, but that crew of veterans is a very hardworking group and really good guys. And then you bring in the, the seven new guys, really hardworking guys and good guys. So it's made it easy. You know, they've been energetic, energetic and enthusiastic. And I thought today was as competitive as we've been. I know you give these guys credit. And when I kind of ask this question, the way I'm going to ask it, it sounds like you told, but how much credit do you give a guy like Tyree who's been here for four years for? Maybe the vocal side in terms of his leadership aspect is not as strong as suit, but he welcomes somebody like Jake and others to really fill that void. Still leads by example. Sure. But it almost seems like you got the perfect combination of you got a senior leader who's been through the battles, but you also got a younger guy who's going to play a lot of minutes for you and can really help lead your team from a vocal standpoint. Yeah, the Ty Tyreeks has always been just do do as I do. You know, if you want to, if you want to be really good, work, live in the gym, work on your body, do as do as much uh, things to improve, uh, working on your craft as he does. Uh, it helps to have a Jake Laravy as as a as a vocal leader, even for a young guy like that. And Trey, uh, those guys are outstanding leaderships, and it takes some pressure off Tyreek. It lets Tyreek be Tyreek and just play. Those guys all trust him. They know what he brings to the table. And then the rest of the, not everybody's a vocal leader. Not everybody has to be a vocal leader. But we've got some guys that have really been uh, leading us in the, in the conversation aspect. A lot of younger guys, and you mentioned the newcomers. We talked to Randy, one of them has obviously looked really good. But I know a younger guy in terms of basketball IQ you really like is Julian Larry. Um, again, may not be a guy that a ton of people were talking about paying into this year. But everybody internally is talking about him because he's always here. Yeah, I mean, even the people in Texas weren't talking about him. But uh, Coach Richardson and I, the, the first day we were out there seeing him, uh, just fell in love with him. Uh, his demeanor as a true point guard, uh, talk about competitiveness and being a vocal leader on the floor within the action, um, just terrific. And he's been unbelievable since he's been here. Uh, fans are going to love him, how hard he plays, how hard he completes, competes, the way he talks and communicates with his teammate. He's going to be hard to keep him off the floor. Defensively, 
I know at times it's always going to be an area that you focus on and it's going to be a point of emphasis, but I think in the past there's been times guys in, in certain drills, even if it's maybe a defens defensive emphasis, more concerned about what shot they get. Today I thought it was very evident. Guys in one specific drill got a kill. Yeah. Uh, they won the drill, yeah. but there were a little bit more points scored than yeah. others. They didn't get it. But it seems like your guys have really – flip that switch and it's a defensive mindset. Well, we were pretty poor at it about a month ago, <laughs> so it is. It is a flip in the switch and it's having a sense of urgency and defense has always been you have to want to do it and uh, young guys want to score points. They want to get baskets. They want to do those things but um, at this level you have to really defend. You have to really make it difficult uh, on the other team and we have a long ways to go in that regard but they were taking some pride in it today, you know, like you like you had seen, and hopefully that just continues. You know, we'll continue to talk to you know, throughout practice, um, but what do you like about maybe some of those guys who we don't necessarily talk a ton about, but maybe like a Nick Kittle, who I know has been out from time to time, but brings a good physical presence down low. Uh, even when you look down the line, even if a guy like Sam Mervis comes in and provides a possession here and there, it just seems like that team that you really want in all aspects is, is starting to take shape. Yeah, I think we have a lot of uh, weapons. We have a lot of depth. You know, we haven't even said anything about Cooper or, or Kobe Barnes. Kobe's got the ankle right now, and Coop's had a little bit of a back issue, but they both are playing uh, very well. Uh, they're both playing very well. And uh, Nick Hittle, you know, talk about a big guy like that. He's battling Trey. He's fighting Trey uh, on a daily basis. So when you have good players and they're competitive and you got young guys that come in, new guys come in that they're competitive, makes for some fun practices.